Hello guys, welcome back. She's no Ariana Grande. Okay, so today I am filming a video that literally nobody asked for. Today I'm going to attempt a get ready with me. I don't really know anything about makeup. I've never really been like super into it. I've been into like looking good and having makeup on, having technique, not so much. So let's dive straight into it. While you're here, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. <gasps> I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Welcome to the Get Ready With Me Desperate Edition. <laughs> All right, this is my makeup bag. To be fair, it's pretty clean. Like I keep my makeup looking like, I keep it clean, so give me a point for that. These are my makeup brushes. Literally in a beer glass. I can only just get everything out and put it on the bench. Fast and loose, baby, get it over and done with. I kind of regret putting my hair in before doing this video, but I was like, if I'm just gonna like make a mockery of myself, I could at least have extensions in. Oof, that really sounded like something 2014 me would say, but I believe it. Okay, I'm just gonna like, Ooh, she's fake. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck my hair behind here because I don't wanna get makeup in my hair. Wouldn't wanna ruin my great look that I'm going for. <laughs> Okay, first thing I do, I moisturize. It's SPF because like imagine thinking you're tougher than the sun. Okay, once I have SPF on, I go in with a primer. I don't really know if you're meant to moisturize and prime. Am I like canceling one out? Are you doing both? I don't know. Also, I don't know if I should like tell you guys what products I'm using. Maybe I'll leave something in like the description below. That sounds like something a beauty guru would do. Okay, primer's done. Ooh. Okay, next I do my eyebrows. I feel like a couple of years ago, everyone started doing their eyebrows first and maybe it was because that was like the best way to do it, to do that first and the rest of the face. I literally just do it because doing my eyebrows is my absolute least favorite thing. They're not good. They're not twins, they're not sisters, they're not related. They have literally no relation. I just realized that I normally do this in the mirror. I don't know how I meant to do my eyebrows in an iPhone 11 screen. I don't have any product on the brush. Okay. Oh, for eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I've had this since 2016, so hopefully this stuff doesn't go off. It rocks, I love it. Works well for me and works well for my face. I'm literally shaking. I'm so nervous. I could just not make this video. Why am I nervous? Does it look okay? I literally have done nothing, so I don't know why I'm judging myself. Something I saw that a lot of people do is they get it out of the pot and then put it on their hand and then use their hand as like a little chopping board or something and then they like wipe it and then put it on their eyes i don't know if that's like the way to go i usually just like dip straight in and then apply it straight to my face this seems like one of those moments where if a beauty guru was watching they would be like oh that's really problem to starting hun this is actually a lot harder than i thought i'm just gonna like low-key quickly do these in the mirror okay i've done my brows this one kind of looks a little bit like it looks a lot lower than this one, but I mean, they're definitely not twins, but they could be like stepsisters or something. I feel like I can fix it when I carve them out. So as you guess, next step, carve out the brows. I feel like people carve their brows for their brows to like stand out and look clean and crisp. And then I just carve out my brows to try and like make them look even and somewhat less like wonky. Is my hand shaking that much? Oh my God. I'm also gonna carve my brows off camera as well because I feel like this video is embarrassing enough. I feel like I should just do all of the eyebrow stuff not on film. I didn't tell you the product. Am I meant to? I really can't remember what I decided. Anyway, the product I use to carve out my brows is this Wet n Wild Concealer in the color. I don't know, who cares about the color anyway? And I carve them using this brush that has... Yeah, it's seen better days. Do you ever start doing something and realize that like low-key you're the source of all of the problems and you could just fix them, but you don't? Why are you using this? Grow up. Don't you just love this color? Okay, brows are done. They are carved out. I don't think they look that bad to be honest. Maybe they don't look that good zoomed in. But from like back here, I don't think it's that bad. That was really stressful, guys. That took way longer than it should have. Okay, what's next? Next, I do my eyes. So for my eyes, I normally will lay a base of foundation down and I'm laughing because I feel like I can already see people cringing. But I lay a base of foundation down and then I go in with my... I don't want to spoil it, guys. Stay tuned. My essay, bougie ratchet. Sassy, moody, what's happening? Ugh. I'm actually running out of foundation, so I'm gonna use concealer today. This seems like something I could do on camera. Where is my eyeshadow palette? Oh my god! Don't worry, 
Sorry guys, I'm back. Okay, now let's dive straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. And now they know. Flawless. Okay, and then I blend in that concealer with my beauty blender. Do you love this color matching I've got going on? I'm on my last day of fake tan before I need to exfoliate and do it again, so I feel like if you fake tan, you'll feel me that the last day is rough because nothing matches. You don't look good, you don't feel good, <laughs> and I don't know, day seven is just, it's a hard time. So be kind, all right? Mm -hmm. So don't come for me in the comments saying your foundation does not match your neck. I'm so aware. I'm well aware of it. Okay, so despite the fact that I have an eyeshadow palette, I think I have like three. I don't wear eyeshadow. I don't know how to do it, okay? I literally just don't know how to do eyeshadow, so I go with something safe. I literally just use every... Oh my gosh. Let's see. I literally just use the NARS... What is this? Bronzer? I literally just go in with this every day. I use a brush and put some on my eyelids. I call it a day and that's that on that. I don't even know if this is the right brush. It says contour, so I mean, anything is possible if you just believe. <laughs> um, to be fair guys, one of my 2020 goals is to learn an eyeshadow look, so like I'm gonna improve, okay? I don't think I'm ever gonna film this again to like show you the improvements, but they're coming. This is definitely an improvement from like back in 2012 where I literally wouldn't use eyeshadow. Like I wouldn't put any color on my eyes. I literally would just put foundation and then this like clear, like translucent powder almost over the top and just called it a day. Baby steps, okay? I'm definitely improving. I'm improving. Gosh, this hair is driving me crazy. I feel like I need to like tie it back. Guys, is this hair a look? I probably can't take it seriously with my face like this and my ears sticking out like. I don't know, maybe it could be something. Stay tuned for that as well. Look good, feel good. Okay, so after I do my eyes, I go in with some foundation. I'm holding the bottle so weird right now. This one I've been using for the last couple of months and it's rocks it is so good i used to use that kat von d foundation for like i want to say i used it for like six years and then all of a sudden it made me break out like kat von d why why are you doing this to me kat von d i buy your products i'm a big supporter i've probably bought like 20 bottles because of how much foundation i use in a single use when you're not meant to use that much and then you just go and make me get acne thank you i feel like that might have been a little bit too harsh also i'm running out of this product really bad to the point where i'm like using the stick to try and like scrape out some foundation i'm all about using a product and until it's completely gone so it might be painful to watch and it's definitely painful to do but reduce reuse recycle rihanna maybe if i like bang it out on my hand Ooh, that kind of hurts desperate times <laughs> i feel like that should just be the thumbnail me just being like get ready with me cannot take myself seriously in this video i'm just trying to show you exactly what i do but i feel like it's making me look so bad okay back on track foundation so i normally just put it like straight onto my face with the beauty blender and then i just like blend it in i don't know what this technique is but i basically just pat it onto my face so it sinks into my skin Woof! that color difference is killing me yeah this is something I feel like I can just blend it down my neck and it'll be fine, but it's gonna take a lot of blending. Guys, the stick just broke and fell into it. I feel like that moment in Friends when Ross is like, can't anything go right in my life? She's really in there. I don't think I'm getting that out. Okay guys, I've resorted to using one of my brushes to try and get some foundation out. Man, this feels nasty. I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh man, I really didn't think this was where my day was going today. I'm so flustered, oh my god. Okay guys, my foundation is done. I feel like since I brought it down the neck, it kind of matches. I don't know. I feel like I'll just wear a turtleneck today and it'll be fine. My hand is so sore from banging this container on my hand and like, oh my god, did I just get makeup on my shirt? Ooh. Oh god, I'm making it worse. Oh my god. Why did I wear black to do my makeup? Oh my god, I never learned. 
done with that one. This is all gonna come together and look great in the end. Like, you just have to have faith. I really need to pee. I really need to edit that out, that was disgusting. Gosh, everything is falling apart. I really feel like I need a drink right now. All right guys, I've got a drink. I feel like I just need this to get through. To be fair, I haven't drank all of quarantine, so go off sis. Also, it's clearly not wine. It's literally vodka soda in a wine glass. Fake it till you make it. Whew, okay, what's next? Concealer. Okay, so that same concealer I used to do my eyes before is what I'm gonna use on my face. I don't use a whole lot of concealer because I feel like the foundation has really like covered enough. And I don't know, like, I don't wanna go for the full cake look. I just wanna, I nearly had the nerve to say keep it natural, but like. Does this look natural? I really just have this one freckle under my eye that like does my head in. So I usually put concealer on that. And this one up here as well. I feel like it's still not covered. I don't know if it's the concealer or if it's just me. Could go either way. Okay, I don't wanna say the next thing I do is contour because I really feel like whatever I'm doing is like, I mean, it's contouring, I think. I use these two Wet n Wild products and <laughs> Guys, is this contouring or is it just struggling? Guys, I don't really know if this is contouring. If it is, leave me a comment. If it's not, again, leave me a comment. Help me out. This is so much more stressful than I thought it was gonna be. I'll just do a lighthearted, fun video. I'll do my makeup. Here I am, glass of not wine at 2 p.m. stressing out because I don't know how to do my makeup and apparently I thought it was a good idea to do it on film and show you guys. Please don't let this video flop. I start with the light color and I put that under my eyes, on my forehead. Is everyone still doing the whole like triangle under the eye thing or is that done since triangles are out since 2015? Three points where two lines meet out at home. Back to my place Yesterday I watched Maddie Wyke's tutorial and she did this under her I and called it the tree. I feel like mine's more of like a bush. Man, Maddie's old makeup is so much better than my current one, like... <laughs> Can you see any definition? I never know if I'm just wasting my time in product or if I'm actually like sculpting anything. Yo, in my uneducated opinion though, these Wet n Wild concealers are so good. It literally cost like $8 or something and I don't know. I had Urban Decay once. And it was really good, but I feel like I accomplished the same thing with Wet n Wild. Again, maybe that's because I'm not a beauty guru and I have very limited to no skills. But yeah, cheap alternative, Wet n Wild. I don't know if you can get this in Australia. What's like the Australian equivalent? Like Elf on a Shelf or something? Okay, and then normally I blend this in with my beauty blender and then I go in with, you guessed it, the dark shade. I'm starting to feel like maybe I bring it all down like too close to my mouth. Oh well. <laughs> is that the right spot? Guys, really, is that the right spot? Maybe it's meant to be lower. I might just leave it because I don't want to make it any worse than what it is. I don't want to try and be like looking up skills and then adding them in now. I'm just being real with you guys. This is 100% what I do if I ever do my makeup. And I basically get the concealer and then go to like the top of my ear or the middle of it or whatever this like thing is that everyone got pierced and then just draw a line till there. Yo guys, I used to always go like right into here and then I feel like I watched one makeup thing where they were like, do not do that. And so I'm not doing it. <laughs> Do I look sculpted? I feel like I still just look like a hamster. <sighs> One thing about this concealer though is that it dries so fast. I feel like as soon as you put it on, it's like, like it's like super glue or something. Like as soon as you put it there, it's there. So with the dark one, I always blend it straight away before doing like ever I want to do it because otherwise it'll literally just stay like this and it will just be me like. This is such a wake up call that like, I need to start watching some beauty channels. So if you message me over the next few days and I don't reply, it's because I'm watching James Charles. I'm trying to learn. Oh my God, another thing I've dropped today. Did I smash it?
This also makes me realize that like, even if I was a beauty guru, I would literally never get on anyone's PR list because imagine just getting sent like a Jeffree Star palette and then just dropping it and smashing it. That would 100% be me. Like, thank you so much for the conspiracy palette. The real conspiracy is why did it fall out of my hands when I didn't mean to drop it? I say the government did it and government made me drop it. <laughs> literally, it looks like a rainbow. I'm just picturing in my head that rainbow meme where it's like, you tried. Also, I'm getting such bad hay fever here. Like it's literally like snot is dripping down my face. <laughs> Cheers. This is gonna get straight up no views. From afar guys, not that bad. Not too shabby. Ugh, I hate the foundation on the lips. I can't believe I used to wear foundation on my lips like every day on purpose in year seven because like this shit is nasty. I hate it. Ugh. Okay, now I go in with blush. Ooh. Oh my god, oh, I am not dropping one more thing today. If I drop one more thing, I'm gonna ruin all my chances of ever. Oh, the blush is e.l.f. by the way. I've never used any other cream blush, so I don't really know if it's good or not. I think it's good. And I normally put the blush like above my contour, if you wanna call it a contour, above that brown smudge that I've got going on. And then once it's blended, I kinda just look like a Neapolitan ice cream. Real talk, what was your favorite flavor out of that ice cream? I feel like, I mean, I'm lactose intolerant, so realistically I shouldn't even have a favorite flavor, but back in the day, I feel like I was such a vanilla girl. What's changed really? I'm still basic. So yeah. Should we just say it's part of the look and call it a day? From afar, not bad, up close. See, this thing is fine, this thing. Not so fine. Fine. Not so fine. <laughs> now I'm just purposely putting it on my lips. So I just want to take a second to like talk about how far I've come. So back in the day, I used to do this and then put like a really heavy bronzer on top. Yo, I literally used to use like that white. What was that brand called? It started with like I. It's obviously not Illuminati, but that's like the only thing coming to my head right now. Illa mask. Illa. I don't know, there was some brand and it was literally just white and I would honestly just put that directly on my face. Let me insert a couple of photos for you guys for reference. And like I used to go to f***ing town on this. I would pound it on my cheeks, like insane. So I feel like, yeah, okay, my makeup's not that great. It's um very questionable. There's a lot of room for improvement, but I've come a long way, okay? I'm just taking a second to like clean this brush I used before. I honestly hate mess so much. Oh, oh, another tip. I don't really know if I should be giving tips. Every time I use a product and I'm done with it, I put it back in my makeup bag so that by the time I'm on my last thing, this is definitely the vodka kicking in. But by the time I use my last product, everything's back in the bag. The bag can go away. It's done. It's clean. Maybe my trash my tri shot. Maybe my tripod should be higher. Hello. Maybe from that angle. Oh, love my holes right now. Boy, do I regret stretching my ears in 2011. I feel like if you get the right light, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, next, back on track. So next I go in with some highlighter. This is the Becca, ooh. Yo, guys, that literally just went like all down my top. But this is the Becca Champagne Pop. It's falling apart and it keeps dripping down my shirt. And I think at this point, I'm just gonna let it. But this is the only highlighter I have ever had. Ooh, tell a lie, I used to have that Anastasia Glow Kit. The first time I went to America, I bought this bunch of makeup and was like, I'm gonna like learn and get so good. Um, that was 2016, still hasn't happened. But this is like the only highlighter I use and I put a little bit on my cheeks. Hated that. But I put a little bit on my cheeks. I'm just gonna use like this mirror. These are the only shades I've ever used of eyeshadow and they're all gone. And now that I have these dark colors, that's why I'm like, I'm done. I tried eyeshadow, I ran out. I don't know. So a little bit on the cheeks. I don't put too much. Guys, literally like a couple of years ago, I used to just go like, I don't know. I feel like I just used to go to town and I would literally just be like a construction sign, just like blocking everyone's way and they're like, like it didn't look good, it just looked concerning. So now I try to just put like a tiny bit on. Still enough to pop and like go the f off, but yeah, not enough to stop traffic or something. Put a little bit up here. Don't really know what this does, but I do it. Yes, I do. And then I put a little bit just under my eyebrows, so. Oof. 
a little bit on the top of my lip. And then I don't know how to contour a nose. I just, nah. But I put a little bit of highlight just on the tip because everybody else does it. So I've just copied. Okay, I really need to get this foundation off my lips because it's driving me crazy. Guys, I don't know what's worse right now. Like my makeup or my hair. I can't. I can't believe I went the whole 2019. I was full like, I'm not getting my nails done. I'm so obsessed. I need to give it a break. Like I'm literally too reliant on them. And now we're in 2020 and I literally can't get my nails done. I know that's a first world problem, but I just wish I chose this year, not last year. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking a quick break. Also, I don't want to encourage drinking if you're underage, like. Okay, so the next thing I do is setting spray. I have seen people who do their eyes, like mascara, winged liner, lash, and then put setting spray on. And I don't get how that works because I feel like if I spray it, then my mascara will just like go everywhere. Maybe it's my mascara or I don't know. I also haven't tried it, so I'm not trying it today. I'm gonna stick to my normal routine. I'm using the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. Guys, I kind of feel like setting spray might just be tap water with a little bit of like sparkle in it. Like, I don't know if it really does anything. And maybe the joke's on me for spending $40 on like tap water and a little bit of like glitter and sparkle, but what can you do? Also guys, recently I've stopped using setting powder because as soon as I put powder on my face, it just sinks into my lines. I don't know guys, I feel like I've just jumped forward a few years. I'm 45, my name's Susan, and my Instagram bio is live, laugh, love. So powder's out. Anyway, next I go in with this NYX Wonder Pencil. I put this under my eye, like in this section. Oh God, it's got in my eyelash. But I basically just use it as an eyeliner. I'm also gonna do this in the mirror because I don't really know like, I don't know how the beauty gurus do it. Okay, so normally what I do next is I put on a little bit of mascara and then I'll put on a fake lash. I don't know why it took me so long to notice, but I feel like it doesn't look right because there's not any eyeliner or like winged liner or something like that. Oh, I just ran out of breath. I'm so sorry. So I think this might be a bad idea, but I think I'm going to try and do my first ever winged liner. a good thing to do on camera. I got this Kat Von D tattoo liner. I got it as one of those gifts at Sephora. Like if you get up to a certain amount of points, they're like, take this. I've never used it before. To be fair, like back in the day, I feel like I tried to do like a little bit of a line, but it never looked good. Like I can definitely say I haven't tried to do one in at least four years. So this also feels like something I shouldn't do on camera, but Maybe I'll just go for like a line that the lash can sit on, not like a full wing. That's just like looking for a reason to get roasted. So I'm also not gonna do this on camera because like, I just, no. Okay guys, I just did my first eye. I did my right one and I don't feel like it looks that bad. Like for a first attempt in a few years and definitely from a distance, I feel like, once it's got a lash on, it'll be fine. Also, I really hated doing that in dead silence because I felt like it was just me alone with my fear and all I could hear up close was just So I'm gonna put some music on and do this and then come back. Okay, I just finished my left eye. It's definitely, it's definitely not good, but I feel like it could have been worse. You know what I mean? Like it could have been so much worse. And when I did it, I really wanted to go and like correct it in bits, but I know that when you start trying to do that, you end up with your eyeliner like up to here. So you know what guys, I'm, I'm kind of proud. So now I'm just gonna put like a tiniest bit of mascara on my eyelashes and then I'm gonna put the fake lashes on there. And then we are nearly done. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my lashes now. I don't know what type of lashes they are, but they're definitely Ardell brand because that's the only brand I buy over here. This one is so wonky, but it's all I've got. Make do with what you have, I say. So obviously I've put the glued on. I'm waiting for the eyelash glue to go like, what do you call that? Like tacky? I don't know what it's called, but I wait a couple minutes for it to go that consistency where it will actually stick because if you try to stick it on now, everybody knows it won't work. She'll be right. The glue looks so bad right now, guys, but I promise you it'll dry. I mean, I hope it'll dry. I think I applied it too soon. This is so stressful. Oh my God. 
some glue stuck here. Ugh, you get this on the hard jobs. Current mood. Oh no, the lash is stuck to the tweezer. Oh god. Help me, I am poor. Could be worse. I also realized I just had my AirPods still in. I was trying to listen to music before to get me like in the zone. But of course I couldn't play it out loud because copyright. You know what guys, I feel like it doesn't look that bad. I kind of love it. I mean, I don't think they're both even, but I also don't feel like I was ever going to get them even. I don't know. I feel like it's okay, especially from a distance. Like social distancing right now, so from a distance. Yeah, I feel like it's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some bottom lashes. I have this e.l.f. Eyelash eyebrow gel. I have this and I normally put that on my brows and I put a little bit on my eyelash and then I go in with this mascara to do my bottom lashes and then we're done guys. not done because I haven't put anything on my lips and my lips are so small I feel like they need a little bit of help I need to put some like liner or lipstick or something on them I have a bunch of lipsticks from back in the day when I tried to like buy all of the Kylie Cosmetics collection I don't even know why I did that I don't even like makeup I just I swear that was like my turning 20 crisis was just like trying to buy all this makeup and be bougie when I was really just a basic broke white bitch. Anyway, also feel like lipstick goes off after a year, which is fine because I don't use any of those lipsticks anymore, but I still use the lip liners. I don't know, is that bad? Leave me a comment, let me know. Anyway, the lipstick I use every single time I do my makeup is the MAC Viva Glam 2. I think. And I use this Kylie Cosmetics Posey K lip liner. The lipstick and the lip liner don't really match like perfectly, but they're the closest match that I've got. So um, let's get it girls. I don't really overline my lips or try to make them look any bigger or anything, but I feel like lip liner just gives it that kind of like, defines the outline, I suppose. Ugh, I feel like there's snot there. I'm sorry guys, we're nearly there. And then I just go over it with this lipstick. I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. See, they don't really match, but I kind of love the color that it makes. Okay guys, this is the final look. So I went back and tried to do a winged eyeliner because I was like, it's really now or never at this point. I mean, it could definitely be a lot better and they definitely don't match exactly. I don't think it's that bad. I also threw my hair up because it is so hot in this bathroom right now. But yes, this is the finished look. I don't hate it. This wing on my left eye is definitely longer than this wing, but I don't wanna start touching them and trying to make them even because that's when I feel like I'm gonna have wings out to like here. I'm trying to like find the best lighting and angle to show you guys that it's like not that bad. Also the towels are on the ground because I didn't want them like hanging here in the shot. I'm not actually like a disgusting person. I hang up my towels, I promise. I feel like I'm getting so hot. Up. This literally looks like I'm trying to take a MySpace DP. Like, do you remember back in the day when you'd be like, and your bio would be like, 14, single, netball is life. I don't know, guys. This is my go to look with a winged liner added to it, which I feel like I want to practice and add into every day because I feel like it's really making my eyes pop and it's making the lashes look less intense. Yeah, I don't know. Might add it in, might give up, not sure. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. I had heaps of fun filming this video. It really brought me back to like when I first started making content when I was like, 16, 17, and I would spend hours on Snapchat just doing my makeup, talking sh So yeah, I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to bring a little bit of this content to my channel. So yeah, let me know below if you liked this sort of video. Also, if you have any makeup tips that could just help improve and make me look less average, please leave them below as well. I have left this drink sitting for way too long. It is so flat now. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I love you guys. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Remember to like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff. No, but really, I love you guys. Bye.
I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down